right honorable right Sarai Odinga, the AUI representative for the Consulting Development, His Excellency Dr. Yekma Shantay, First Vice President of the Republic and Chair Person of Government of Alaska, His Excellency Dr. Yekma Shantay, Vice President, and Chair Person of the Economic Cluster. Right, Honorable Speaker, Jim and Unukumba, General Coleman Yangjuk, Senior Advisor to the Presidency, Honorable Salman Majuk Mijak, Prince of Road and Villages, Honorable Ministers Present, Honorable Emmanuel Adil Anthony, Governor of Southern Equatory State, Members of the Parliament, Ambassador of Japan to the Republic of South Sudan, President of Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Your Excellency, the President, on behalf of Infrastructure Cluster, it is my great honor and privilege to attend and witness the official opening of the ceremony of the Freedom Bridge today. On this historic occasion, allow me, Your Excellency, to express my warmest congratulations to you in person, to your government, and to the people of the Republic of South Sudan for this great achievement. Let me also extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to Your Excellency, the President, for the support you have given to infrastructure development in the country. Equally allow me, Your Excellency, to appreciate the Japanese government for giving us a grant to build this bridge. Japan and Japan have a profound traditional friendship and cooperation dated back to the 1970s. The SVLM government and Japanese government continue to enjoy a time honored history of cooperation in all sectors, particularly in the infrastructure uh, sector. Pirito Village is not just only a transit point, but a symbol of a great friendship between government of the Republic of South Sudan and Japanese government. The opening of Freedom Bridge will be just give a bridge and ease transportation of goods and services from East Africa markets to South Sudanese markets. Few years ago, the RT Gono under leadership of his and the President Sebu Kimbayardit prioritized, prioritized infrastructure development to realize economic growth and improve security within our country and our borders. Roads bring development and unity among people. Today, opening of Freedom Bridge is a big milestone in making that great dream come true. The Republic of South Sudan and her people will soon witness opening of more infrastructure development projects like roads and the bridges across the country. Thus, I'm appealing to my countrymen and women that let us maintain peace. Because where there is peace, there is development. But let not forget, as we celebrate, we are celebrating this achievement today. This bridge come with great responsibilities. Chief among them is the overloading of trucks and violation of weight control. I urge our Sudan Road Authority to immediately come up with measures to curb this impunity by road users. You know when the trucks leave, uh, leave Mombasa, a load of one truck is put in uh, two trucks, two big load of trucks because of the population in South Africa community uh, road uh, users. 
where we are allowed to carry only 58, 57 as a maximum concern capacity. But when the truck reached normally, this load of two trucks is put in one truck, so we are not in relation here. Yeah, the 56 ton is put into a truck and then come to Juba. That's why the road of Numuli Juba has worn out in no time. Shankira Madukuna Road Authority, last the moment you could have gone to the other. Your Excellency, let me conclude my remark by congratulating you and all those who contributed to making this historic project successfully. Remarkably, Minister of Road and Villages, with all his departments, Central Equatorial State, Yuba County, and communities around here who give their work and provide security to working personnel and the entire Jaika family. I thank you so much for listening to the Galeno. Now, let me invite uh, the first vice president to introduce the president.